everybody. Hello, this is Tim. And Christina. For Living with MS in Tenerife. We're here today on the balcony. And I don't have the second light actually. Maybe you have the second light and we'll start again. Well, I'll just keep recording, you know, just to keep you interested. What is that? It's an aperture. AX, whatever it's called. This is my tripod. I'll stick Thaperture on tripod, as they say. <laughs> Thaperture. <laughs> Northern lads. Northern lasses. With smiles upon the faces. He's got lots of toys, these. They're this not guy. toys, they're. They're, they're not oh, toys. The best and girls is again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim. And Christina. For living with MS in Tenerife, even if you're wondering why Christina's got her sunglasses on, because I just turned the light on, the video light. And she also says, it's too bright, it's too bright. In fact, we'll, we'll go it down, we'll put it down, I'll show you. Here we go. Oh, hang on. Okay. They need to clean as well, the sunglasses. They need to clean the sunglasses? Yeah. Okay, is that better? Something a bit more. Okay. Anyway, so I went on a drive around today, and uh, basically, basically, I got a drive around map from Hong Kong Fui, number one super guy, and uh, he tried to get in touch with me through my website. But I think what was happening is was he was putting an, a link to Google Maps in the in the message. And I think my website actually blocks that, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to test it, but I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, so I ended up uh, contacting him and saying I didn't, get, or he got contacted me, and said, oh, "Did you get me emails?" And I said, "Obviously, I didn't." So he contacted me on an, on a, another channel, and I gave him an email address, and he sent it. So um, basically, I've just been to Los Cristianos to interview uh, Andrew Knight, the Knight Strider. You know, the, the wingman sidekick from uh, the Mac Master. And I interviewed him for my podcast on Sunday. So uh, we're going to do that on Sunday. And uh, oh, here's the, here's the trailer. So basically, I'm just, I've just discovered the stories on my Osmo Mobile 3 so I've got a little gimbal and it goes into story mode and it allows you to do stuff so that, that was one and at the beginning of this uh, video of us I did one as well so nothing professional but uh, we're getting there so uh, I did the drive around but the route he gave me I was coming in from Los Cristianos so I didn't start where he wanted me to start I started a bit further up and, um, and I showed a little bit more than he wanted, so, but I actually covered all the stuff that he wanted, but I just decided to show a little bit more. Enjoy.
money work El mundo quiere dinero Money work Se arregla con dinero Money work Si me quiero educar eh, Dormir en algún lugar Un lugar para trabajar eh, Y si no hay para emigrar Todo money, money, todo el dinero Solo un par de gente se lleva el botín entero Funny, funny, pasa verdadero Si tienen la verde siempre llegará primero Pero llegaremos antes o después Solo a lo suyo, que Dios te lo ve Que por más que tarde lo veré caer Somos malos buenos y tenemos que el dinero Ya lo veré, yo vendo mi alma, lo lograré Seré el más grande, no olvidaré De donde vengo ni cómo voy Money world Yo digo las cosas como son, no quiero ninguna, ninguna aceptación Tampoco vengo a pedir perdón, porque mis sentimientos se volvieron la canción yeah. No me vale mucho como tú me ves, sabes tú me llegas solo a los pies Para mí ser grande es un interés, ser un buen humano para mí es un deber El dinero ya lo veré, no vendo mi alma, lo lograré Seré el más grande, no olvidaré De donde vengo ni como voy Money world yeah. El mundo quiere dinero yeah. Yeah. Money world Se arregla con dinero yeah. Money world De corazón De corazón La plata no te hace ser feliz Yeah, yeah, de corazón, de corazón, yeah, yeah. Hasta no te hace ser feliz. Money work. El mundo quiere dinero. Yeah, 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 yeah. Money work. Money work. Money work. Money work. Se arregla con dinero. Lunático Lunático yeah, yeah. Sé que tu alma se hace mal Pero tu instinto quiere tocar otra piel No es tu culpa, baby No es que seas mala Sino que te ha ganado el placer yeah, yeah, yeah. A las doce me llamas yeah, yeah. Porque ella quiere placer Estar obsesionado Hay pecados que se merecen Que se repitan muchas veces No importa la gana que tenemos No es seguro Salen porque salen, baby Es inoportuno Por eso yo procuro Que lo hagamos en lo oscuro, baby No somos no, nada que ver Aún así quieres verme Quieres verme yeah. Ya sé lo que tengo que hacer Que tú eres cuando actúas en la escena Ven, pórtate bien Si tú quieres ver 
Baby, que me porte mal Me de cero, yo acelero hasta cien Y no freno hasta yo verte
seen it <laughs> it was fun though wasn't it yeah yeah because she because i don't show him her anyway because she's i can't she can't see him she says I can't see. and she's like looking at this like oh, what's that we're driving in a car oh i'm getting sick i'm getting sick there's quite a few people that want to do the fast motion thing they don't like that and uh, so i'm keeping it normal what I might do is just sort of do a little bit of fast motion just to get through the boring bits. Or I might even just blend it out and come back in, you know? Maybe do something like that. We'll see, anyway. And uh, the music, of course, is by Epidemic Sound. I've got an account with Epidemic Sound for royalty-free music. And if you want to try it out, there's a link in the description which gives you a free trial. So you can try that. And um, what else have we got? Oh, i I've been told that I've got to say please like and subscribe and ring the little bell for notifications for when I upload new videos but basically it's just the little like button you need to press because what YouTube does is all the interactions of the like buttons they sort of say oh this is a good um, video so we'll show it to more people so it's the number of people watching I think you know if you are subscribed then thank you very much and I hope that you do get notified and I hope you watch the videos uh, but it's not just to do with subscribers the first thousand was because that was important to get to make me be able to do live and we'll come to that in a minute I'm going to start doing more lives but it won't be now till next Wednesday because the kit doesn't arrive and I want to present quite a professional live stream and the show is going to be live but there's going to be bits i'm going to be cutting in which i've recorded earlier so i would need to be able to switch between those live then i'll get my old ipad and that's going to have the comments rolling so i can answer your questions about if anything now on the way back today from this uh drive around I actually went past Sion Park and I talked to a guy who wasn't a boss or anything. He was a guy with a walkie-talkie. And I said, when are you opening? And he says, oh, probably the 1st of August. He says, but we won't know till tomorrow. So it, I actually pushed, you know, from the horse's mouth, Sion Park opening the 1st of August. But this was just a guy with a walkie-talkie and people have been telling me I've got to be careful because it's not official. And I know it's not official, but I think... This, the message I want to give is that we were looking at October, November or even not at all this year, not so long ago. So uh, as long as the coronavirus cases don't dramatically increase on the island, then I should imagine Cyan Park which should be opening soon. So fingers crossed or hold your thumbs if you're a German. I don't know what other people do. What do you, what do, you do in Norway? What do you do in your country? What's the fingers crossed or hold your thumbs thing? What's for luck? Leave a comment down below. And, um, yeah, so we're hoping that's going to be all right. We've not heard from Laurel Park, of course, but I think the, uh, they, might, um, they might do some, some sort of double thing. I don't know. But I am talking off the top of my head. Uh, there is nothing confirmed and I don't want to get people's hopes up but what I do want to do is to give them hope you know I, I know that's sort of contradictory but you know what I mean uh, not all is lost the biggest problem we've got at the moment I think is because we didn't change the law here in Spain in Canary Islands to make sure that you got to wear a mask all the time 
when you leave the house, but you have to have it with you. Um, there were some things going on uh, down at Veronica's where some of the bars were basically... I don't think they were flaunting the law, but I think the people who were visiting them were hard to manage, let's put it that way. So managing the rules is pretty hard. And... Uh, the, I don't want to get like in Mallorca. No, no. We've, we've had, we heard on the news today that Mallorca's going downhill, isn't it? Yeah. So we don't want to be like Mallorca. And so if you do come and visit, make sure 14 days before you arrive you haven't done anything silly. And when you get here, um, you know, don't do, don't do silly stuff. A lot of people say, why don't you allow me to dance? And Oh, why I thought it was just uh, the clubs that couldn't dance. Maybe I can dance on the street. Well, basically, it's uh, sweaty, gyrating, and droplets. So it's not the dancing that's the problem. It's your actions and the possibility that you might be spreading something if you're infected. And because we're not testing you when you get here, um, we don't know whether you're infected or not, you know? And just wait for the vaccine, wait for the whatever and i know there's conspiracy theories on that as well but um just i don't i don't know if you want your holiday to be all jumping and lovey dovey and meeting new people and hugging and kissing then probably this time of year is not for you but if you're coming over and you're a family or you're a couple and you like long walks along the beach, you like stopping in nice restaurants and bars, you like going for a swim in the sea, you like lazing around by the pool, you like you know, sunning yourselves, going up the Tady or shopping in a shopping mall, then we're open for business, you know? So come ahead, come on. Right. Now, for those of you who've made it this far, uh, comment down below uh, what colour frog you'd like okay so and then all these people that didn't watch it to the end will uh, be wondering why people are saying oh I'd like a blue frog please <laughs> they'll think you're daft you see but then you can say I don't know oh, I'm not daft you're daft for not watching to the end <laughs> so what colour frog do you want not that I'm going to give you a coloured frog or nothing, because they're gifting, aren't they? Poisonous coloured frogs, yeah. especially the green ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, green green frogs or the neon yellow ones. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, thank you. How many of these shirts have I got? Thousands. No, I mean really, how many shirts have I got? At least five. Okay, so just in case, because people start saying he's got that yellow shirt on again. I bought them for two euros in two tree bowl, special offer a year and a half ago. Yeah? You probably tell the difference because some of them are faded more than this, because uh, I wash them and wear them the next day. So, um, this is Tim. Thank you, Steve. For living with MS and Tenerife, signing off. Bye. Bye. Zzz.